Welcome to another Unnecessary Computer Things. Today we are going to be looking at the timing of adding, incrementing float values versus integer values in Commodore Basic. So this was inspired by 8-Bit Show and Tell, 8-Bit uh, Show and Tell's Robin, and uh, he did one on uh, just x versus x percent and incrementing it by one and by y. Uh, I've generated like various permutations in Ruby just so I don't really have to repeat myself, but then strung it all together in a basic program. And I've actually, I'll put a link to the Ruby script that generated as well in case you wanted to do more permutations yourself. But uh, as we can see, so the first case here is 340 jiffies, and then that x percent case is slower because we actually operate by default in floats. And then you see this x plus y is a little faster, and x percent, y percent is a little fast, is a little actually it's a little slower. <laughs> Um, but then I wondered, what about two-letter variable names versus x percent and y percent? And yes, they slow down, but how do they compare to their counterparts? And if you see x1 versus x percent, they're pretty close, four jiffies apart. Um, now you kind of you kind of lose that a little bit, x1 versus y1 and x percent versus y percent. Uh, but then if you start at 30,000, things change a little bit more. Uh, you notice x plus y versus uh, x percent plus y, uh, y percent. Um, I mean, x, x percent plus y percent, and then uh, there's an x1, y1, yeah. so x1, y1 is actually a little bit slower than the x percent, y percent one. 422 versus 411. So I'm sure there's some underlying uh, integer carry uh, rationale behind that. I haven't delved deeply into the reason why, uh, but I'm going to include the code and the generating code in case you want to look into it. Uh, and the reason why I started at 30,000 is because if you start at 30, any higher than that, well, there's an overflow there. It's uh, 32,767 is your limit, but I did want to get as high into the limit range as possible uh, and still be able to add a thousand times to it. Um, but yeah, so interesting results. I mean, this is all emulated, so take it with a grain of salt, but these should be clock cycle accurate, at least. Thanks for watching.